What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we've already talked about everything you need to know about the game, if you haven't checked it out, check it out up there. We've had our tier list for the early game hero power, but again, that's not all you have to worry about when you're playing AFK Journey. It's very much about building the proper team. If you go all in on damage dealers, all in on support, all in on tanks, you're going to be in a weird situation where you're not going to be able to do a ton of damage potentially because there are certain stages with environments that kind of hinder certain types of teams. You need a little flexibility, but you also need a well-rounded team. One thing I like to say about AFK Journey is it kind of follows the MMO classic of uh, the Holy Trinity tank healer, damage dealers, uh, and there is a little flexibility in that as well because some heroes kind of do a dual purpose on that, so it's kind of cool. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, and make sure you guys take one second, hit that subscribe button. We're going to have tons of AFK Journey content coming your way. Let me know what you guys enjoy about the game so much, and uh, let's jump right into it. <laughs> So as you guys have seen previously with our gameplay video, uh, the combat in this system is very interesting because you have a lot more places you can place your hero compared to the typical idle gacha, AFK arena, anything like that, which does mean there is a little bit more strategy involved. The environment really matters because sometimes there's walls blocking the path of melee off and range can be a better team. So building your team is going to be very, very important. You want a very nice mix of everything one thing for sure you want to do you want to make sure you have a very strong frontline tank hero uh thorn one is really really strong mainly just because he can revive himself you're going to be pushing stages that have probably an insane amount of burst damage at the beginning and having a hero that can survive that initial onslaught can be very good now you can sometimes slot in a hero that has like an immunity kind of like we have right here it can help out where he's a warrior he's not quite a tank uh, but a lot of times you are going to want some sort of tank hero. Granny is another great one. Any hero that has a self heal as well can be good. If you don't get lucky and get any legend heroes, S tier heroes that are tanking, uh, Lucius can be a very good temporary tank. He's a pretty solid hero. Uh, he's very easy to get copies and he almost dual purposes as a tank slash support hero. Because again, the way you really want to build this is one tank, one support, a range damage dealer, a melee damage dealer, some sort of combination of that, and you have kind of one flex spot that typically goes in the more tank slash support role, and that's where Lucius can be good. So even if you do have a very good tank, adding him in as a secondary tank slash healer can be very good. Now, there's one hero that is always going to go on your team's Rowan. Rowan is just by far probably one of the best heroes in the game he can heal with his potions on the cart he feeds energy which is something that is absolutely overpowered feeding energy so your team can get more ultimates off is the key to his team so that is something very important uh, another one that can be a very good raw healer uh, but does require some positioning is going to be smoky uh, so smoky is interesting because you'll notice i'll jump into a battle real quick even without setting up a full team he is stationary and he doesn't move and he has this aura that he places on the ground. You'll see Rowan right here with the energy feed that gives these other two heroes ultimates very quickly. Uh, but he does provide a ton of healing. He provides buffs to your team. But again, he's hard to use because if your team is pushing very far onto the opposite side of the battlefield, they get out of his effective heal range. So that is something to be careful of. Uh, if you don't have him either, which he is an easier one to get your hands on a lot of times, uh, you can see here there's actually walls and breakables and stuff like that that are in the game. Uh, perfect timing to talk about this because that's what I was talking about, how sometimes you need to have flexibility on your team. You're like, yeah, Smokey's not going to be good because my team is going to be splitting all over the place. There are some other heroes in the game that can provide some really good support. So let's talk about those heroes in the tank class and then also in the support healing slash role. So like I said, uh, Rowan, you're kind of just going to want him no matter what. Try to get your hands on a Rowan copy. He is going to be one of the best supporters. You're going to use him in just about every single game mode. As far as other support supporters, like I said, Smokey is a really good one. But again, his little aroma that he puts on the ground and everything, he is not very mobile. He'll stay in one spot, whereas other healers 
can either hit the entire battlefield or move with your team. So that is something to keep in mind. If you're looking for a hero that is pure healing output, Heywin is going to be your girl. But again, she is an S tier legend hero. Uh, it will be a little harder to get your hands on her, but very, very solid. Honestly, when it comes to supporters, that's kind of like the core that I personally use. I do see a lot of people sometimes using Damien. Damien is a really interesting character and I can probably show him to you in combat really quickly as well. Uh, when you fight with Damien, he technically just runs away from the battlefield. So we're just gonna chuck him in the back. I think I had, oh wait, do I actually not have Damien? Oh, I do. Cool. So I'm going to show you guys what Damien does just with two characters. What he's going to do is at the beginning of battle, he's not targetable. He is literally going to run away and go next to your character model. Now, he does have a ton of healing output, but he essentially doesn't count as a character on the battlefield. He does have this little cart that runs around that does have health and everything. So that is something cool. But if all your heroes die and he's the only one left, you simply lose the battle. But he is a nice, easy healer to get your hands on in the early game. And honestly, most of my advice that I'm giving here is for the early game because that's what we're really focused on very early on. The only other hero I wanna talk about is actually a tank hero with Lucius, but he has an ability to heal and um, shield allies in an AOE. So that's a very unique skill. He kind of doubles as a tank slash healer. A lot of times I'll put him in if we just need a little more healing throughput or a little more tank ability. He's awesome to put alongside some of the better tanks. Now talking about tanks, we want to talk about probably the best tank in the game, Thorin. He deals good damage. He can revive. He can leech HP. He has life drain from the enemy. If you can get your hands on Thor and he is hands down going to be the best tank you can actually have on your team. Like I said, Lucius can be a nice little placeholder. He's decent. Another one that's really good is Antandra. So she's again, another one that can taunt enemies. Uh, she's kind of cool that she can also guard an ally and herself with a shield. So again, this is a little bit more of a support slash tank hybrid role because she does affect your allies as well. Not just yourself like Thorin. The other tank that I absolutely love to use, if I could just find them in the list, there we go. Granny Dahini, D D Dani, I don't know. Her name's Granny. Uh, so she's really cool because her ultimate ability will root everybody around her, and then you basically can heal with her as well. Uh, so it's really, really strong. She recovers equal amounts of HP to the damage she's doing. Very strong. She doesn't have a lot of damage, though. Probably out of all the heroes I've listed, she probably has one of the lower damage outside of her ultimate ability, but she can be really strong. There are a couple other heroes that are kind of like a hybrid brutus is more of a warrior he's literally listed as a warrior here but he can tank as well mainly because he has the ability that the first time he suffers a fatal blow he becomes immune to all damage and he basically has five seconds of immunity he also gets life drain on that so he can take a huge onslaught immediately sometimes it's better putting him in the very front slot that's going to get hit by the enemies immediately because he goes immune and then you have time to have your other tank step in and tank while he does his nice big old whirlwind and do a ton of aoe damage now there are a couple other tanks in the game but typically i've stayed away from them uh, not saying that they're bad or anything, but there are just, those are the easier early game options. There are of course other tanks in the game like Lamont, uh, just not really as great. And we're not really going to go over the Hypogen or the Celestials just yet, but that kind of covers the tanks and the supports. Now we need to talk about some damage dealers and how they work. So in this situation here, we need to talk about damage. Now, like I said, we're not going to be talking about Celestials or Hypergens. They are very, very strong, but we're going to talk about some of the regular heroes. So like as one of them, you're going to get a free copy of her. I don't really recommend her so much. She's an all right one in the early game, but there are two heroes I really want to talk about immediately. One of them is Cessia. Cessia is really, really cool. And I want to see if I can just get her to do her summon here. Uh, so Cessia is really unique. She's a ranged unit that can attack pretty much everybody on the battlefield, but she summons pretty much a tanky enemy or ally uh, that entangles enemies and does cleave damage. So really strong because also whenever she gets another ultimate off, it will heal that. So she's very much an AOE 
and single target damage dealer while also providing an extra tank on the battlefield which is really cool now if we're talking about one of the easiest damage dealers to get your hands on Odie is definitely that Odie is a single target damage dealer monster and like I said you kind of want one aoe damage dealer and one single target damage dealer on your team and you'll notice here he has some really good burst damage overall he can you see how much health they just dropped immediately just from him using his ultimate and then going in on him so it's very very strong he is a squishy hero so again you need that tank you need those support heroes around him because you're not gonna be able to get through things without him but if you are looking for a damage dealer this is very very free to play friendly because he is just very easy to get your hands on and honestly he looks kind of cool kind of a fan of mauler so yeah he has really awesome single target damage he has poison and as you guys can see you get more things unlocked as you level them up to higher tiers so in this case we have an epic so we just have the base three whereas you jump over here and you take a look at the skills you got more skills that are unlocked and you can level them up as well with resources so uh, you'll see some other heroes popping up here and there, but that is kind of like the core team that I like to build. Like I said, there are some other really great heroes in the game, uh, depending on what you want to do with them. But uh, honestly, it, it really depends on what heroes you get lucky and summon for. There are certain heroes in the game that are ones you know from AFK Arena even, like, uh, I always forget how to say his name. Uh, but he has a really cool ability where, you know, he summons like this tornado on the battlefield. He pulls everything together. And if you have a really good AoE team, this could be some really good synergy. So keep your eyes peeled. We will be having guides on individual heroes on how you want to kind of set them up. But granted, the nice thing about this game is you don't have to worry about gear sets, stats that you're going on because gear is very generic. And it's really awesome because it does mean you can swap heroes in and out so much easier so let me know what you guys think that is my little guide for you guys talking about how to build your account because again you're gonna want a tank you're gonna want a damage dealer if i had my way right here i would probably be running some sort of hybrid team that looks something like this to start out that would be kind of like a very easy to build support team or you know you could throw in like a smoky in instead something like that personally i found a ton of early game uses for lucius and like i said this is my goal to hope that we can get a couple legendary heroes paired with a couple really good of the like epic tier heroes the lower tier heroes that you can still upgrade like lucius like Odie, and you're gonna have a ton of fun in the game so build your teams properly if you have any questions leave a comment down below i'd love to know who your favorite hero is too especially uh, among the elite heroes and then also among the s tier legendary heroes so hopefully you guys enjoy this one hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time